today's WRL weather alert day. We have a level two and three severe risk in place. Coming up, the timeline, we can see those storms move in. Also staying on top of current conditions in our area, WRL's Kelsey Coffee live in the WRL storm tracker showing what road conditions are like right now. We have got you covered here in the 930 half hour on Fox 50. I'm Ken Smith. And I'm Michelle McConaughey. Thanks for sticking with us on this WRL weather alert day. A lot happening, a yeah. lot to talk about. We're going to start with meteorologist Peter Sherwood. Uh, Peter, a lot of us already seeing that rain. We just saw, saw the storm tracker out there uh, under level two and three risks for most of our area today. And the thing is that the severe potential is going to pick up later this afternoon and this evening. We have a level two and a level three severe risk in place. We cannot rule out that chance of seeing tornadoes develop today. So you've got to stay weather wear throughout the entire day. So we've got rain moving through right now across the belt line. We're seeing some of those light showers in Lee County extending all the way down south into Fayetteville and far north as Mecklenburg County, Virginia. Do plan for some of those light showers as you head out the door for this hour and that will likely continue. However, we could see a little break in the rain as we head into the lunch hour, especially for some of our southern counties, but it's not over yet. The rain is going to pick up around the three and four o'clock hour. Once we head into five o'clock, we're likely to see a line of showers and thunderstorms to the west head towards the east and that line will likely move across the triangle from six to seven p.m. It is going to clear out and head towards uh, the east into eastern of uh, the eastern part of our viewing area along I-95 as we head into eight p.m. and then drier conditions likely as we head into the overnight hours. So it's going to be a little rough going here as we head into the this evening with those storms moving through. Here's a live look at Dick's Park this morning where we have some lower level clouds out there. We've got the rain going on for this morning as well. Temperatures are a little bit chilly in some spots. 43 degrees out there in Roxborough, 48 in Raleigh and Durham and 54 in Clinton. As we head into the afternoon, we're going to climb to 63 degrees temperatures above normal for this time of the year. We have a flood watch in effect for parts of our viewing area coming up. I'm going to show you how much rain we're expecting to develop today. Kelsey, I know you are on the roads right now. Can you go ahead and tell us where you are and what are you seeing at this moment? Peter, right now we are on I-40 in Cary, headed towards Raleigh, and that rain is starting to pick back up some in the last half hour. I told you all about some misty rain, but now you can see that rain is coming down uh, a lot harder, and the roads are very slick. So the message for this morning is just to please be careful as you're driving and watch your speed. Kelsey Coffey, WRL News, live in Cary. And the strong winds and rains we're expecting today could cause some trees to fall, and that means you need to be ready for the possibility of losing power. Yeah, WRA's Laura Levine joining us live from outside the Duke Energy Operations Center in Durham. Laura, you've been there all morning, and this could be a very busy day for utility crews. <laughs> Yeah, Ken, and we saw staff arrive here at this operation center in Durham early this morning. Those utility trucks, they're going to be rolling out here, uh, heading to some of the most affected areas once that storm passes. But as for now, uh, Duke Energy tells us that those crews are on standby, bracing for that severe weather. Governor Roy Cooper has declared this a state of emergency with this weather event. Duke Energy has thousands of crews spread across multiple states. In the last couple of hours leading up to the storm, those crews are checking equipment and making sure they are fully supplied as Duke's team of meteorologists tracks the storm and tries to anticipate where the worst hit areas will be. We'll get a double punch of heavy rainfall and winds. A Duke Energy says damaging winds and saturated soils might also lead to blown down trees and power lines, causing possible scatter to widespread outages. Well, I think wind is, is a double culprit here because it's the thing that will most likely cause the power outages, but it's also the things that can hamper restoration. You know, we want to keep our crews safe. That's our job one. And so we're not going to be able to put crews up in buckets if the winds, you know, get above 30 miles per hour going along there. So we have to wait until it's safe to put crews out in those conditions. So the utility sent out an alert last night to customer uh, customers advising them to prepare for the possibility of outages and to report any that they may experience. Laura Levine, WRO News, we're live in Durham. Well, school systems across the area are making adjustments because of today's severe weather threat. 
Wake County schools will be closing three hours early today. There are other districts making changes to the school day as well. Take a look at this map right there. You can see uh, most of them are dismissing early, including Durham, Johnston, and Orange Counties, along with Chapel Hill, Carborough City Schools. Two other schools in red uh, will be closed completely. Several other schools are holding classes virtually, including Cumberland County. Halifax County Schools were already scheduled to have a teacher work day today, so they're off. You can find a full list at the bottom of the screen or on W. And you'll want to make sure you have notifications turned on for your WRL News app all day today. We'll alert you to any new developments with today's storm to keep you safe and informed. Well, it's happening. Bucky's is coming to Mebbin. The Mebbin City Council voted unanimously to approve rezoning and a special use permit for the 